Finders Keepians, it's Rachel and Sarah here with another process project video for you. Yes, and we're working with um, our Fall in Love kit, which is with uh, use, using Simple, Simple Stories, Stories Hello Fall collection. So fun. Yeah, it's a really nice set of papers and they've got some really cool embellishments, which I'm going to be showing you in a bit. I just wanted to kind of show you how I laid out. Um, this is one possible layout you can do. There's tons you can do with this kit. There's many, there's 14 sheets of 12 by 12 paper. 14, in, one, in. four. Yeah, so you, there's lots of stuff you can do. I had tons left over, so I'm going to be making cards for people for Thanksgiving, I guess, this year. And you certainly and could make other scrapbook layouts, too. You could. You could do, I use, I'm a paper user, and I, I admit that. <laughs> She's a user. I am. I'm a paper <laughs> user. <laughs> I'm a taker when it comes to paper. <laughs> so, um, why? But, so anyway, so <laughs> I do use a lot of paper for my layouts, and you'll see this. I've, I mat paper. Um, I chose some um, of the simpler papers for the backgrounds of these layouts, and now I'm putting together... I'm pulling out some strips of some printed strips to kind of layer and add some interest to the layout. They're all different sizes, it looks like, too. You're not, they're not all like one inch strips. It looks right. like you're cutting some and three quarters. And that's kind of part of my concept for this anyway. I mean, I had kind of this idea that because this is fall, this is like a quilt maybe. Or oh, nice. Like a homemade quilt. So it's the, not everything is exactly measured perfectly. So like my mats, some of them are quarter inch, some of them are half inch. Oh, that's some neat. Some of those strips were, I think I used between an inch and a half and half an inch okay for the strips and um so and then you'll see like I put down two mats and then I bring the papers in and I'm starting to kind of layer them and layer those in kind of figure out what they can you know what, what they'll look like such fun um, colors yeah really fun colors and um because I'm using pictures from Thanksgiving a year that we were a place where the trees changed nice the colors all really tied in well I thought with the photos which is one of my things and oh so, I love it I love yeah. it this kit comes with a 12 by 12 sticker sheet. And so there's all oh, these little, little acorns. acorns. And I thought it'd be fun to line <laughs> them all up. But then I do a surprise at the end so uh -oh. you can watch. It goes acorn, 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 acorn. Flower! <laughs> surprise! Surprise! There's a flower at the end. <laughs> so, yeah. I love it. That's a little something. That's an entire alphabet. <laughs> My enjoy. goodness, Sarah. Yes. There's an entire alphabet with this, plus the words autumn, which I use on the next page. Now, I thought I was done with this layout here, but I wasn't. So but little, wait, yeah, there's more. A little more. foreshadowing for later on. I come back and I rework it a little bit. So now I'm doing the, the second page that's going to go with it. And so and, are you keeping those little strips that you, you're cutting off the oh, edge? Yes. Yeah, because we keep, keep everything. Because you can use them the way that some people use washi. Yeah, um, yeah. And it is paper. Yeah. And washi yeah. is paper tape. Yeah, so that's great. Yes, <laughs> nice. And so I used again. I'm double matting these little pictures. These are three inch pictures, and I, the first mat is a quarter inch mat, and the second one is an eighth inch mat, and that allows it to fit across the page. So I'm doing um, six three by three pictures on this page. On that page. So I'm getting across. a lot of pictures. Three and across and another three across. Yeah. Okay. Wow, so you're getting six whole pictures. On one page, yeah. And, and for the printing of these uh, pictures, you guys will have to tune in. We're going to do a video on using InDesign to resize pictures so that you can get them the exact sizes that you want for your layouts, right. like the one you did on the and other page. And that's exactly what I did, by the way, to get these pictures the size. Cool. And you'll see I used the simpler prints on the top because our, my photos already had a lot of color and a lot, a lot going on in them. So I wanted the, the first mat that was right beneath the pictures to be... A little cleaner. Yeah, right. And right. then behind that, I used the busier prints um, to get, to bring in color to bring in and the interest colors. and all that. And again, like I mismatched all the mats. <laughs> I love it. So it's like a hodgepodge. Yeah, it's like a quilt. That's what I wanted it to be like. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Yeah. And I'm just kind of figuring out. Oh, this. Well, can I get all these pictures on here? <laughs> nice. And um, what a great out, oh, what can. a great way to 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 get more pictures out there and mm -hmm. to to have more of that those memories on your yeah. pages so in this layout i have seven pictures which is nice and it was i was able to get you know everyone that was there in a picture and in the whole picture and then yeah. also sort of like it's always a shame when ones. you don't have enough room to you know for those of us that take lots of pictures we really appreciate this kind of a layout trust me <laughs> So there's some really beautiful papers. I chose for the background the simpler ones. There's a wood print and then this blue print with the hash marks on it. I love that blue it. print. And it just is a really nice simple background for all of this, these colors and all of these textures. And they're just, it's super pretty. Um, 
So now I'm trying trying to measure these these autumn stickers that I have, and I wanted oh. to put them on a on a piece of paper to a, you know to kind of give them a mat of their own on the paper. Oh, and, and you'll see, yeah, you get all the letters for the word autumn, not the whole alphabet, but just the word no, autumn. No, just the word autumn and those stickers, and then the other stickers oh, you clutter. get the whole alphabet and numbers too, I believe. So oh wow, little punctuation marks. I mean, it's a complete alphabet. So you could put the and, the years. Um, and then I'm going to put another strip behind that autumn to kind of draw from the other from page the where I had all page. those strips. Oh, I love I love the strips. I don't know. I've always loved the strips. <laughs> yeah, and you always have little pieces like that left over. Always. So it's a nice way to accent. Oh, now you're putting the photos and down. And now I'm putting the photos down and kind of got them all in their place. And I, you know, made them so that I tried to create a balance across the pictures. I like them. Um, and now I'm going through, and now there's all these little phrases, and I chose these phrases to go, like that one says, oh. hello, pumpkin. Oh, that's and perfect. And their kids are with pumpkins, and so, like... It, it makes sense. It does. And the <laughs> one of my husband and my son kind of hanging out on the sofa says, cozy. You know, like, I tried to find words that kind of words expressed what was in that picture, yeah. Um, to kind of, And my initial idea, I had these all over the page, but I thought that would be too busy, so I just put one on each picture. Yeah, I like it. I like it with just the one little sort of tag. The dogs are making an appearance yeah, as always. There's Tally. And um, that they're these little brads. They're really cool. They have the resin top and a, a oh, picture coordinated those. picture beneath. And then I was I just chose little words. To me it looks like a little menu. Oh. You know, press here for falling leaves. For falling leaves? Yes. I like that. Mm -hmm. That's really cute. Oh my gosh. And I forgot I wanted to put a wreath in there. So oh. <laughs> Yeah, you know, it always happens. It always, up. always, always so happens. I don't press down too hard until the very end because I want to be able to still kind of adjust things. So that worked out well. And um, yeah, so then there's another another strip of paper I'm bringing in with the little acorns on it. And this has three more brads across the top. I love those little resin brads. Yeah. So and then cute. I'm realizing as I look at this, uh-oh, you know what? That other page has no shine on it. So it I came back with the brads. sparkle. <laughs> I added them in here and there, just kind of finding a balanced way. You know, not perfectly symmetrical, but just balanced. Oh, visually. it's beautiful. Oh, my gosh. And so the, that's that. It took me about an hour. About an hour. Yeah. Okay. And All right. And there they are. So that's, and this is everything I had left over. So oh, wow. I, that's still, a lot. I'm going to be crafting for a while. I can do more layouts. It's, um, I have three full sheets of paper left. Three full sheets. So you could do a mm -hmm. whole nother spread yeah. and then have extra still for cards and mm -hmm. stuff. Yeah. Oh, that's great. There's a lot there. Oh, my so, gosh. It's so pretty. So this is our Fall in Love kit. It retails for $28. Okay. It's in our shop. It's in our shop. Go yeah. get it. Right. Happy fall, y'all. <laughs> Have a good time. Bye.